Hello, my friends. Good morning. Welcome to another video. If you're new here, then my name is Oliver. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to do something special, I think, and something I haven't done before. And that is going from Hong Kong with the high speed train to mainland China. We're going to Futian Station, Shenzhen Station. We're going into China. And it is my very first time going to China. I heard crazy stories about it. So I'm very. I don't know, curious to see what we're gonna run into today because I haven't really prepared anything. China, last year, December, opened its borders to foreign visitors, right? And you don't really need an expensive visa anymore. So I can get a 15-day visa on arrival with my European passport when I go to China right now. So that's really nice because that saves me a bunch of money and also obviously, you know, a whole visa process that I don't have to go through right now. But I'm not sure what I do need in order to enter in China. So we're going to see. I'm here in West Kowloon. Oh, sorry. Wait a second. <laughs> Anyways, I'm here in West Kowloon Station in Hong Kong. And the high-speed train goes from here directly into mainland China. And it only takes 14 minutes. So that is very fast, I would say, because we're kind of far apart. I think it's like... Well, not really. It's like uh, 66 kilometers, something like that. So the train goes pretty fast if it if he does that in only 14 minutes. I have my backpack with me because we're staying at a really nice hotel tonight in Shenzhen. I'm gonna show you all about it. I'm probably gonna make a separate video about showing my hotel because it's a crazy hotel, guys. I'm telling you, it's just gonna be for one night. But we're gonna walk through the city. We're gonna discover Shenzhen, and I really want to see if I can dive into the Chinese culture. Just so excited to travel to China. I cannot believe it. I'm going to China, guys. <laughs> well, I'm in the station, and there's a whole security going on for the train, right? For the departures of the train. If you want to board the train, you have to go through extensive security. They have different sections. They have business, first class, and people that need assistance. And you obviously have to go through customs. You have to go through immigration. They're not stamping your passport here in Hong Kong because it's kind of part of China, right? But entering China with the train, you know, you're crossing the border basically into China. I need to go through immigration with all my stuff, get a Chinese stamp in my passport. I'm very much looking forward actually to the stamp what the stamp looks like. I always love that so much, seeing all the stamps of all the countries, collecting all the stamps in my passport. My passport is so full of stamps, I love it. I love it. Anyways, it's gonna be a, a fun video, an exciting video. I'm sure I'm gonna show you everything. Now, let's go to the ticketing station and buy a ticket for this train. Normally, I buy the tickets online, so I'm good to go. I have the QR code on my phone and I can walk through it. But in this case, I thought, let's just show you guys, you know, how it works how you have to purchase your ticket here at the station if you don't know how to book it online. Obviously, I'll put all the links down in the description so you can also book the tickets online. I saw some ticketing booths that you can do it yourself. So let's walk there and buy the tickets and we will be on our way. We're going to Futian next today. Yes, search. So when can we go? Mm, valid passport, that's what I have. Oh, I need to scan the passport. Wrong document information. Why? One more time. Wrong document. Okay, well, it says wrong document, so I have to go to the counter to get a ticket. Is that a counter? Oh, I think there's no line for the counter. Purchase today trains. Well, be nice. Okay, let's go there, buy a ticket, because it's not scanning my passport. She's manually typing all my passport details, because it's probably not working and the machine couldn't recognize my passport either. So, it's fine, 75 Hong Kong dollars. Not even 10 euros for, uh, well, it's only a 14 minute trip, but it's a high speed train, right? So let's see. Let's see if uh, this goes well. 9.15, so we have to wait 45 minutes. It's fine. It's really like an airport. I'm already through the gates, even though I have to wait for 45 minutes, but I feel like just go in there, go to the tracks, see if it really exists, right? <laughs> no, I'm sure it will exist, but uh, yeah. Go through security and then we will be inside the train station and we wait. 
Here we go, guys, on our way to China. Oh, another round of security. Wow. Okay. Ninety percent. That was customs, actually. They don't give you stamps here in Hong Kong. So I got this, like this one only. Here, I can show you. This is what I got. Entry ticket. Literally a ticket. <laughs> Entry ticket to get into Hong Kong. So we're going to the tracks. And then we're ready. I'm actually curious to, to know or to see if there will be customs in China on the train or if that would happen when we get off the train. I assume that when we get off the train, they have customs ready there, right? But I'm not sure because there are so many trains going to so many different stations. Do they all have customs there on each station? That'd be crazy, right? Huh. Okay, so you have to fill in this declaration form of questions. And there's one question and it says like, uh, to what countries have you been in the last two years? <laughs> yeah, way too many. So I just wrote down like the first two initials of uh, most of the countries, but like I wrote down only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine countries, but it's probably like <laughs> around like more than 10 at least. So I couldn't write them all down there in the past two years. That's crazy. You need to do some fingerprints, scanning there, and then you go here to immigration, Hong Kong immigration, and then you are at the tracks. So actually, you know, it's good that we have a train 45 minutes ahead because, um, yeah you have to go through a lot of process things you know so if you you really need like at least half an hour to go through all of this actually guys this was already the chinese immigration oh and it was really cool because they scanned my passport and then the device was talking to me in dutch because it recognized that it was a dutch passport it started talking to me in dutch i already got the stamp of china how nice is that? So nice, they gave me the stamp next to the Taiwan one. <laughs> they didn't even say anything about that, but I'm in the baggage lane now, and there's a lot of people in front of me, and my train is literally leaving in like eight minutes. So <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it. I wonder what I have to do when I don't make it. Maybe there's like a train with non-reserved seats, and I'll just... I know you expected it already, but you're not gonna believe this. I literally missed my train. Oh, I literally just missed my guys four it was four minutes in time but then they say no they closed five minutes before oh my lord i can't believe it i missed it oh she's very helpful a lady walked with me she was at the gate i was like what am i supposed to do oh, so she brought me to the ticketing counter here and she told me that i can change to another train free of cost so that's nice I mean, yeah, customs was just taking way too long, you know? Well, it's fine. Whatever. We have the time. 9.53? She can get me on a train from 10.53, which is in one and a half hours, but only first class is available, so I'll need to have to pay for the upgrade and wait one and a half hours. But that's the only one to Futian. She can put me on a train to Shenzhen Bay, which is North Shenzhen, but I have to pay a new ticket. It's stupid. So now I'm just doing that because, uh, but I literally still have like 10 more minutes left for uh, for that one. I was in time. No one told me they, they closed the gate five minutes early. Otherwise I would have run, literally. This is crazy. Took me 45 minutes to get through customs and baggage and no se que. This is stupid. Luckily the ticket is not that expensive, but it's a lot of hustle again. I have to literally run because this gate is also going closing in like five minutes. I am literally pissed off because of this. Like, like, yeah, you can change it for free. No, you cannot change it for free. Wait one and a half hours and then we don't have the second class seats. Stupid. Oh, why are all these people waiting here? What is this? Why aren't we supposed to? We're not allowed to go through. Well, it doesn't matter. You know, it's a great start of this trip to China. Two tickets, still second class. Well, on the way back, I'm just gonna, I'm literally gonna buy it online because this is taking me too much time and it's just uh, annoying. So I'm gonna leave a lot of time before the train leaves and then I'll just, you know, oh my God.
I'm sitting. At least I have a seat. Oh, there's someone next to me, of course. It's such a huge train. Anyways, I'm happy that I'm sitting. I have some uh, more bread. It's just 14 minutes, so it's very fast. But no, 18 minutes actually, because now I'm going further. I'm not going to the center anymore, so I'm going to Shenzhen North. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a joke, literally. What a joke. Let's go, guys. We're actually already in China, right? Because we got the stamp. But... Let's see. Vamanos. The train started driving. But we're going the opposite side, so. <laughs> it makes me sick. Oh my god. Oh, that's fine. You know what I like about the these trains actually is that they offer outlets but also international outlets. So that's good. You can just charge with your European plug or Australian one. So that's really nice. They have toilets. It's just a, a normal train I would say, but yeah. The outlets is really really nice. A really good thing. Perfect. We're here. That was actually really fast. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we are. First steps into China. Yes. Ooh, it's massive here. Wow. It's a big station. Look at that. And it's us the train, the high-speed train. How are we going to go to the hotel? I don't know. And is there another customs here? Or we can just, you know, leave the station without having to go through another round of security. Let's see. But we are in China now. First time ever, guys. First time ever. Wow. All right, I'm following the signs to the metro and actually I'm quite surprised that they have the English translation everywhere. You see the whole sign here, all, everything has E-square, metro, bus. Oh, it's good that they do English. I didn't expect that actually. I see a lot of English. It was a quick and comfortable ride and very easy actually to go to China from Hong Kong. It's super easy. Only a few rounds of security and customs you know, immigration, but that's it. They didn't ask me any questions at all, immigration. They just stamped and they said thank you. And the little gate was telling me, oh, you can stay until the 28th of April. I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> well, here are the, the gates to leave the station. And then we're literally outside, so I need to get my ticket. I thought the train was running like every 15 minutes, but it's not. Like you have to wait legit one and a half hours if you miss your train. So it's important that you, especially with a foreign passport, right? If your Chinese passport probably goes faster, but if you have a foreign passport, then go to immigration at least one hour before your train departs. Like, you need that time. Well, I'm in China now. Let's go through the gates and outside to see what the station looked like from the outside. Oh, summer. Ugh, drop everything. Ugh. Oh, this doesn't really seem to work. not working wait okay so instead of scanning the qr code at these little gates they wanted my passport for some reason they weren't really interested in uh, the ticket that i had bought they were only interested in my identity we are here now guys we are officially in china breathing chinese air we're outside the station now and it's actually a huge station if you look behind me huge station oh my goodness wow So I have to go to the metro to get to my hotel, but Google Maps is terrible with metro lines showing me metro lines, so there's gonna be a challenge. Okay, update. <laughs> I spent like half an hour talking to her. Oh my God, wait. You cannot buy a ticket with credit cards or visas or monster cards. They don't accept it. So I have to go out to get cash now. Uh, and that's really annoying because I'm literally here for only one day and then i have all the cash you know what am i going to do with all the cash but i have to because otherwise i cannot buy a metro ticket they do accept union pay cards ali pay and wechat pay but i obviously don't have that so i need to get cash 
But now I need to find a damn ATM. Oh my god. Well, there's a lot of police, so maybe they can help me. Okay, I asked the police, but they don't really speak English. <laughs> they were like, rah, 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 rah. So I was like, okay. So he pointed me to a mall here next to it. I also have to see how much I'm gonna withdraw, you know? Well, it takes a little bit longer than expected, but it's fine. Oh shit, it's completely closed here. There's nothing here. What am I gonna do? Well, luckily I left early and I took an early train because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm supposed to do, guys. Where is the ATM? I don't understand. This is crazy. <gasps> Yeah, I asked this officer again and he said there's no ATM. So how am I supposed to get cash? How am I supposed to get cash? What is this? <sighs> I don't know how to survive. Okay, on this side there's a mall, so just gonna go in the mall and see if there's an ATM. I feel like I am not prepared, but I didn't think that I couldn't withdraw cash. How is that not possible? I don't understand. I need to get damn cash. What is that about? Why don't they have ATMs here? Alrighty. I tried to connect to the Wi-Fi there to download Alipay, but it didn't work, of course. Even the McDonald's Wi-Fi didn't work. So I just used my 4G because uh, I have an eSIM, right? Which is really easy. And I have Wi-Fi here in China as well, in Hong Kong too. So anyways, I downloaded Alipay. I added successfully my credit card and now it looks like I am able to pay. So I'm going back to that lady and I'm gonna say that I have Alipay now and I will pay with her. Uh, let me see, Metro. That, yeah, that way, so. And then I'll just pay a ticket with Alipay and then I can hop in. So if you come to China, make sure to set up Alipay. It's really easy. It's just an app, you know, and you don't even need a Chinese phone number for it. So it's really easy. You sign up, you add your credit card, and then you can literally pay with it. So that is perfect. Well, I made it, guys. Apparently, you have to go into the transformation setting page there and then request a free transfer transportation card. And then you have to verify yourself. You have to add your phone number. But I have a Spanish phone number and I could create an account. So that's very nice, actually. So we're in, we're through. We paid for our ticket, I can't believe it. So now we're gonna go to line five and then to our hotel, finally. But I have no idea which one to take. Huabailing or Chiwan, let's see. Oh my goodness, I'm actually curious how much this costs. She said 6 yen, but now I still have no idea how much that is. So I have to recalculate that and see how much the yen is again. I'm so tired. I'm done with walking with my backpack. So we're gonna drop it in the hotel but because probably my room isn't ready yet. And then we'll go out explore the city because I already saw some pictures and it's supposed to be beautiful. So I can't wait to explore Shenzhen. And obviously see my hotel because my hotel is going to be crazy. Well, guys, we made it. We are here in Shenzhen in China, first time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel too. That will mean the world to me. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm going to make another video about showing my hotel and everything. So definitely watch that video. I'll put it here in screen for you to watch next. So click on it and I'll see you there. Bye, guys.